In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. The Virgin Mary accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our disobedience to your will. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your Son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and forgive you all your sins, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of the one who brings good news, who heralds peace, brings happiness, proclaims salvation, and tells Zion, your God is king. Listen, your watchmen raise their voices. They shout for joy together, for they see the Lord face to face as he returns to Zion. Break into shouts of joy together, you ruins of Jerusalem, for the Lord is consoling his people redeeming Jerusalem. The Lord bears his holy arm in the sight of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music with trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Alleluia, alleluia. A hallowed day has dawned upon us. Come, you nations, worship the Lord. For today a great light has shone down upon the earth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things came to be. Not one thing had its being but through him. All that came to be had life in him, and that life was the light of men, a light that shines in the dark, a light that darkness could not overpower. The word was the true light that enlightens all men, and he was coming into the world. He was in the world that had its being through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own domain and his own people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To all who believe in the name of him who was born not out of human stock or urge of the flesh or will of man, but of God himself. The word was made flesh. He lived among us and we saw his glory. The glory that is his as the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and lived among us, full of grace and truth. Familiar words, read on Christmas Day, year after year after year. But somehow they never lose their power and authority. And when we hear them, we immediately imagine Mary and Joseph, the baby, the Christ child, a stable, an innkeeper, a manger, shepherds, wise men, a star, choirs of angels. We imagine it all. And yet this gospel contains none of it. It has none of the narrative of the birth of the Lord at all. But we know the story anyway. We can picture the scene in our minds. And indeed, we have a Christmas crib in the church. We can and we absolutely should kneel in front of it and worship and a door. The crib depicts an ordinary small story, a story about a family on its way to the census who cannot find a room anywhere and are taken pity on by a local resident who lends them a stable where their baby is born. And we can wonder how such a story has survived all this time to be recalled and recounted by countless millions upon millions of people across the world year by year. And then we hear today's gospel and we are reminded why this small story is important, why it has gone on being remembered across 2,000 years. John reminds us that we do not believe in a God who simply sits back and watches the world turn. We believe in a God who goes on pouring himself out in a continuous act of creation which goes on and on. But God just doesn't do that from a distance. God's creation is reflected every time a new work of art is made, a new book is written, a new story is told, a new relationship begins, a seed germinates, 
Winter turns into spring every time a baby is born. God is not distant. God is here. God is involved. And at a particular time, in a particular place, the eternal word of God, the word which has a part in all things that were ever created or ever will be created, was born as a human baby. The light that this individual brings into the world, the light which we celebrate at Christmas, will never go out. The eternal flame of God shines through all the darkness the world can muster. Despite the darkness, natural disasters, disease, famine, drought, despite the appalling things people do to each other, despite war, hate, bitterness, greed, envy, despite all this, despite all this, the coming of Christ brings light, brings life, brings hope. Christ brings hope that all will come to him and be saved from the darkness, the sin that is in the world. As John's Gospel tells us in its first 14 verses, in Jesus Christ, God becomes a human being. In his earthly lifetime, Jesus experiences pretty much everything the world can throw at him. He encounters the darkness, the darkness in the lives of those he meets, the darkness in the world. And his reaction? He touches, he heals, he comforts, he weeps, he loves. Not the actions of a distant God. The actions of an involved, close, loving God. The coming of Jesus Christ into the world was a universe-changing moment. He is the Word. He is God incarnate. He is life. He is love. He was the light in the darkness before there was darkness. By becoming a human being, Jesus Christ shares in all that it is to be human. Because he became human, what is wrong in our lives can be put right. That doesn't mean we must throw away who we are, or that we can, or even should. Absolutely not, because being put right doesn't mean it will magically be as if things had never gone wrong in the first place. The things we've done to others, the things others have done to us. All of that is who we are and who we will go on being. Indeed, if all the bad stuff suddenly disappeared, or more particularly, if God suddenly disappeared it, we simply wouldn't be us anymore. But because of the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we can be free to begin again, to share in all that it is to have eternal life. So, at Christmas, we should indeed stand before the crib and worship and pray and adore and wonder. We should celebrate the birth, but not just the birth, the visit of the shepherds and the choir of angels. We should celebrate the incarnation, the coming of the eternal word of God as a human being, beginning as the baby in the manger. Because of the baby in the manger, because of the small story of a family on their way to the census who cannot find a room, because of the earthly life of Jesus Christ lived from that moment in the stable in Bethlehem, because of that, if we believe, John tells us in his first 14 verses, if we believe, we, like the Lord, will be children of God. We believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came, came down, down from, from heaven, heaven was, was incarnate, incarnate from the Holy Spirit, Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will will come come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. We pray for all Christians everywhere, especially those living in Bethlehem, for the Orthodox community there, for all who are oppressed for their Christian faith, that you will be with all who believe in Jesus Christ this Christmas and forever. Lord, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for those living in places of conflict and war. We pray for all victims of violence, the injured, those who've lost loved ones, the dispossessed, the refugee. Our Lord Jesus Christ is Prince of Peace. We pray for peace in the world and give thanks for those who work for peace and reconciliation between nations and within nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for those less fortunate, hungry, thirsty, homeless, that they will have what they need. For all those affected by disaster, flooding, fire, drought and famine, and for those who have lost homes and possessions. We give you thanks for those who work with the homeless and for all who bring relief to those in need, here and abroad. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who are sick in body, mind or spirit, that your healing touch will come into their lives. In a moment's quiet, we bring to mind all those we know and love who are sick or ill at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. We pray for the souls of all those who have died and those who mourn them. We give thanks that Jesus Christ came into the world to bring salvation to the world. In another moment's silence, we bring to mind those we know and love who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in our local community and all who come to worship at Christmas. We give thanks for our families and friends and for all we have in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, we pray that what we have asked in faith may be granted by your will, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be called Prince of Peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. Blessed to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Father, may we follow the example of your Son, who became flesh and lived among us. May we receive the gift of divine life through these offerings here on earth. We make this prayer through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. All honour and glory be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ who for love of our fallen race humbled himself, was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Holy Spirit and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him we see our God made visible and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with all the angels of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the apostles, the martyrs, Anselm, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us pray with confidence in the words our Saviour gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take take away the the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. God our Father, whose word has come among us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we we thank thank you for for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Dear friends, as we meet to celebrate the birth of Christ, let us pray that God will bless this crib, that all who worship his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, may come to share his life in glory. God our Father, on this day your Son Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib which we have prepared to celebrate that holy birth. May all who see it be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring who is alive and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Father who has loved the eternal Son from before the foundation of the world shed that love upon you, his children. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one all things earthly and heavenly, fill you with joy and peace. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and all those you love now and always. Amen. Amen. The Saviour Christ is born to us today. Proclaim the Word made flesh. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.